right after finishing the previous video about radar resolution, I stumbled upon something amusing and unexpected. A KLJ-7's Phantom Radar Mode. VS stands for Velocity Search. For the Rios among you, it is somewhat similar to Pulse Doppler Search. No ranging information is provided, only closure rate or V sub C. In the JF-17, bugging a radar return whilst the radar is in VS mode switches to STT or single target tracking. There is no soft lock, so to speak, or so it seems. As it turns out, I managed to enter a whole new radar mode starting from VS. This mode shows target information, such as range, V sub C and aspect, and even the hafu. Even other contacts are shown, with the caveat that the displayed information is in azimuth versus V sub C rather than versus range, as B scopes do. I admit this is my wet dream as a Tomcat Rio. If only our DDD could do that. Anyway, after labelling the new mode VSTTWS, or Velocity Single Target Track, while search, I wondered whether this was a hard lock or a soft lock. Answering the question is trivial by taking advantage of the AI. Non-human aircraft, in fact, toggle their ECM as soon as a hard lock is established. As you can see, this funny-looking radar mode is a mix of the two. It starts as an STT, but then the lock is broken by the target when its noise jammer is activated. However, the lock is not lost. It is still there, strong and reliable. Long story short, every couple of seconds the radar automatically reacquires the target. So, given this behaviour, the lock is definitely an STT type, at this point, I could not resist the temptation to engage a jamming target as I did a couple of years ago with the Tomcat. The target uses a sort of blinking noise jammer, albeit at an abnormally low frequency. Will the SD-10 manage to reach our target? Let's see. Our guinea pigs are a pair of Tomcats. Let's focus on one of them. Thanks to VS, we spot them beyond 50 nautical miles. Then, I immediately entered the funny-looking radar mode, pulled up and fired. I wanted to launch before 50 nautical miles, but between the views and the pull I lost a few seconds. If you are wondering why I launched two SD-10s, it is because the unstable attitude annoys the hell out of me. The aircraft spawned at circa 26,000 feet. Despite the range and the kind of low altitude, the SD-10s travel fast. And splash, not bad. So to wrap this up, the, the VST TWS mode is probably a simple bug, perhaps a leftover. I found no trace of this mode in the manual. Besides, a velocity search type mode capable of providing the complete set of information we have seen makes little sense. Thanks for watching, and take care.